So what is real-time data streaming? Real-time data streaming is where you move large amounts of data in real time to end users or repositories. Real-time data streaming is used in a number of places, for example, logs, click streams, sensor data, just to name but a few examples. So at a high level, this is done through in-memory cluster computing. Um, what that actually means is several computers or lots of computers known as nodes working together to move data in real time with high availability. So there's several different technology stacks um, involved in the streaming, but two of the most prevalent are Kafka and Kinesis. Kafka was actually developed by LinkedIn, but it's now looked after by the Apache Software Foundation. And Kafka uses a series of brokers and topics to take data from a producer and move it onto a consumer. Um, it has in the past been notoriously difficult to manage on premise and requires a very skilled DevOps team. However, in more recent implementations, the infrastructure has got easier, but also what we're seeing on the market is third party services appearing and letting you just get on with moving data rather than managing the underlying infrastructure. An example of this is AWS's managed Kafka service. Kinesis on the other hand is AWS's native um, data streaming service and the infrastructure is abstracted away from the end user. So it's what we call a serverless technology. And as a service, a developer just has to worry about moving data uh, onto the stream and off the stream. And it does this through a series of libraries um, that connects the producer to the consumer. So I hope today's video has been useful as an introduction to real-time data streaming. Uh, there's more information on my website or there's lots of YouTube videos to get you started. Thanks.